Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, July 27, 2012. This week, sepia tinting photos in Photoshop and Elements. I love the old-fashioned sepia tint in Heritage photos. That warm brown color draws me in and it allows me to concentrate on the details of the photo without all the distractions of color. With Photoshop and Elements, you can get this effect on your own images. Here's how to tint photos digitally. I'll start by showing you the technique in the full version of Photoshop and then go on to show you the technique in Elements. In Photoshop, open the image and press Ctrl J on your keyboard. On a Mac system, that will be Command J. This creates a copy of the photo on top of the original. Select the copy and press Ctrl Shift U or on a Mac system, Command Shift U. Or you can select Image Adjustments Desaturate. Either one of these will create a black and white copy of your photo on top of the color copy. Select the black and white version and then select Image Adjustments Variations. This opens the Variations dialog box. Choose Midtones and then make adjustments by clicking More Yellow once and More Red once. Click Darker from the right side and then click OK. Now you've got a sepia copy of your photo. You can save your sepia settings by following the same steps above, but instead of clicking OK, click Save. Give your setting a name like Sepia and save it to your computer. Now the next time you want to give a photo a sepia setting, You'll simply open the Variations dialog box and click Load. Find the file you save and click Open and then OK. Your sepia settings will be applied to your new image. You can get creative with this technique by slightly lowering the opacity of the sepia layer to allow some of the color to show through. In Photoshop Elements, it's even easier to achieve a sepia tint. Here's how. Open the Photo and Elements. Locate the Effects panel above the Layers panel and choose Photo Effects. It's the third in the row of icons. Select Monotone Color from the drop-down menu to the right of the Photo Effects icon and then double-click Tint Sepia from the Tint icons. The software will create a new sepia copy on top of your original image one layer above the original. You can also get creative in elements by decreasing the opacity a little bit of the top layer and allowing some of the color to show through. Now even your newest photos can have the charm of old-fashioned photography. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for another Photoshop or Elements tip.